May 14th, 2022. Hope everybody out there is having a good day today. I'm going to start off with saying, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the month. I thank every one of you who has subscribed. Feel free to share my videos and just keep watching and thank everyone of you that do watch. Talk to you a little bit today about what are you going to do when it, you go to the grocery store and there's nothing on the shelves or just very few products. We've seen shortages for a while now you know it was worse a year ago i will admit that that a year ago you could go to the store and there might not be hardly anything as far as paper products on the shelves but now we're starting to see that more food related products are shorted you know you'll see like on your shelves you might see beans and corn and all that but if you look behind it there's not much behind it on the shelf you know it's, they're front stacking it but my question to y'all is what are you going to do if you're not prepared, you know, you don't have that week, 30 days, 90 days, years worth of food in your house. And with everything that's going on in the world with the crop, you know, the, the fertilizer prices, the, the fuel, we've seen what's going on with fuel, it's shooting up, which is going to cause everything else to go up. You cannot move freight at the same price when gas has doubled or even went up 50% of what it was two weeks ago, you know. We're going to see issues with that, with prices going up. But if you have, if you're not prepped at all, you need to start prepping now. The more you put it off, the more it's going to cost you in the end. If you started two, three, four, five years ago, you could have got a lot of stuff cheap. Now the days of getting stuff, what I consider cheap, is gone. You're going to be paying more for the product, and the longer you put it off, the more it's going to cost you in the end. I mean, we're starting to see in our stores now, you're seeing some shortages on food, especially the meat, but we all know that, you know, we've got some kind of chicken virus going around, killing chickens. You know, it's affecting the, the chickens, the eggs, everything to do with chickens. Well, they're talking, too, about some kind of disease in beef now. I haven't heard very much about it, but it was brought up a week ago. And some kind of pig flu starting to go around. So, you know, they try to, they're trying to move us into fake meats is what it is you, you're starting to see places like Burger King they've got some kind of fake Whopper I've seen the commercial it's not real meat chicken at KFC they've got fake chicken now they're starting to move more into that and you got to ask yourself why is that why are they trying to get us to go to fake meats you know it's very strange I've said it before we all thought everything was going to be just a straight down decline it's stair stepping we're going down slowly but it's starting to pick up speed we're hearing of a fuel shortage coming up possibly in a week or two for diesel on the east coast and their reasoning for that is because we're sending more fuel you know over to the europe over in there to try to keep get them to quit buying from russia and of course we all know we released what was it 30 million i think or 30 billion i don't remember exact amount of oil from our our natu national reserves but yet we're buying it back now so from different countries it makes no sense what we're doing we're robbing peter to pay paul that's what's going on but to get back on subject ramble a little bit if you're able to stock up now and i don't mean go out and buy the whole store out but if you're able to buy a few extra cans a week right now you're it's better to do it now because the longer you put it off the more it is going to cost you to do it we had a store here that were selling canned vegetables two for a dollar well i stopped in yesterday now they're 62 cents a can you know kind of asking what's going on they're like well it's just inflation inflation that's everybody's reasoning for what's going on which is is right but we are not seeing inflation the way the government is telling us it is. We see it, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent, some cases 100 percent higher on products we was buying a year ago. We won't get into how they figure, you know, the, the inflation rate. We all know it's wrong. We all know that when you go to the grocery store, you go to a store to buy something you need, it's much higher than 8 percent when you buy it. But guys, I'm telling you, by this fall, and we're going to have a shortage of stuff and people will tell you no we're not we've got so much food in america this or that we're going to have a shortage it's just that plain and simple and what we do have is going to cost more to buy it because your farmers are having to spend more to grow it or they're cutting back on what they normally plant because they can't afford to plant 
every their their whole acreage down because of fertilizer price you'll have people well why don't they go to you know manure fertilizer and stuff like that that's went up too and you don't sit and think about how much fertilizer they actually have to use a backyard garden yeah you can get away you know with using manure and stuff because you're not planting on acreage you know you're planting you know maybe a little small garden back there you know maybe an acre you can get away with using that kind of stuff with compost and manure and all that these huge industrial farms they cannot they, it would take way too there it would too it would still be expensive is what i'm trying to say but guys you need to get out there and start getting prepped up if you haven't started please start today don't go buy the store out but every time you buy groceries, buy a little more. We're, we're starting to see shortages again, and eventually we're going to go to the store. They're either going to limit you on everything you can buy, which there already are limits on things, or it's just not going to be there, or it's going to be really expensive. That's the three options I see happening. But guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like, or dislike the video. Comment below. I, I like hearing from y'all. The more interaction I have with y'all, the higher up the analytics go, the more my videos get seen. Like I said, we're trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the month. You know, feel free to share the video. Recommend the videos to friends and family. We're going to have another video today. We didn't get one up yesterday because we was out planting. And we just, it took too long and it was about 8 or 9 o'clock when we finally got done. But guys, thank every one of you who has subscribed and please get out there and start prepping. It's never going to be cheaper than it is right now. Things are not going to go back the way it was three years ago. Get that out of your head and understand that. We are in the new normal. Everything's high. Things are starting to get harder to find. Everybody stay safe and get prepped.